Hi, this is Mike with AskTractorMike.com. In back of me is an 8-foot rotary cutter that has a problem. And, and if you've got the same problem, here's your symptoms. Your tractor, when you're cutting with your brush hog, will be worked really hard and you'll use a lot of fuel. It'll do a pretty job of cutting, but it really works everything to get through the field. And if you have this problem, it's a problem with your tail wheels, these wheels on the back. When your rotary cutter is headed uphill toward the tractor, as this one is, what you'll do is you'll cut the material, throw it forward, and then cut it again and just keep cutting it. So if you've got that problem, here's how, you, here's how you'll notice it. You can look at this cutter and see it's got the problem. When I've got it set at the height I want in the front, the back is actually a little bit lower than the front. And whoever set this up or whoever used it last uh, didn't know what they were doing when setting the tail wheels. Now the first thing you need to set this right is your owner's manual. And your owner's manual uh, on a lot of machines like this one you can download off the internet and have it uh, on a PDF file on your computer. And when I looked at the owner's manual on this cutter I found out that in fuel position normally you want it about one to two inches lower in the front than in the back. And the reason for that is you want to let that material get cut and go out the back. So we want it angled down. Well, we know that the front part of the cutter rides on the lower link arms of the tractor on a, on a three-point cutter. So that is set by the tractor. Where the back end sets is set by the tail wheels. So what we're going to do, we're going to figure out where we want to cut. And I want to cut with this cutter about three and a half inches. So I want to set the front at three and a half inches. And then I want the back to be at four and a half to five and a half inches. It's going to be real easy to set this cutter height-wise because what I'm going to do, a two by four is actually three and a half inches wide. A two by six is actually five and a half inches wide or round about that area. So what I'm going to do is put two by fours on their edge under the front of the machine and two by sixes on their edge on the back of the machine. And that'll give me a, a two inch rake from back to front. So I'm going to put those on their edge and set the machine down on it. And then to get the right rake on it, the right pitch forward, all I have to do is release my tail wheels. I have two on this eight foot cutter and drop them down to they, till where they touch the ground. And then when I let my front end down to the three and a half inches that I plan to cut, actually four and a half inches, the, the, the skid plates on the bottom are an inch lower than the blades. When I drop it down to three and a half inches at the skid plate, my back end will be at four and a half to five and a half inches and I'll be good to go. I can throw the material out the back and everything will function as it should. That's how you set the tail wheels. You're going to have to find out what pitch is, is uh, given you in your owner's manual for the front to be lower than the back. Get your blocks and then drop your tail wheels down to where you have that right pitch. When you have the front end down, you have the back end up just a little bit and there's holes back there in the bracket for the tail wheels that will let you adjust it where you want it. Now on a rough cutter, it's probably not going to be just exactly two inches higher if that's what the owner's manual calls for, but if you can get in the ballpark, as long as that front is lower than the back, it'll do the job and get it done fine. I survive on web traffic. I really appreciate shares, subscriptions, and, and folks to go to my Facebook page and like my Facebook page. And if you have questions or comments, put them down below. We'll try to get back with you. Thanks for watching.